this is Pete from Strymon. I'm here with our new Iridium Amp and IR cab pedal. Iridium features three iconic amplifiers and state-of-the-art impulse response uh, cabinets and a hybrid IR algorithmic room uh, ambience to enhance the experience. Iridium gives you inspiring amp tones for any situation where you want to go direct to a PA, monitors, in-ears, headphones, or recording devices. One of the ideas behind the design of Rhodium was to create something that is immediate and familiar and hands-on with no compromise in sound quality. The three amplifiers we selected are able to cover a huge range of musical styles and applications. In developing Rhodium, we studied the schematics and translated the circuits into mathematical equations using our matrix modeling process, which was used to accurately describe uh, the response of the various uh, circuit sections. We also spent a lot of time working on processes to capture the dynamic nonlinear elements of the various tube stages and the power section, including uh, multi-stage power sag, as well as including such things as speaker distortion, which happens at the highest drive levels. The amplifiers in Iridium are true stereo. There's actually two instances, and the uh, impulse responses are stereo impulse responses. So this allows you to keep a stereo signal path from your pedal board uh, all the way uh, through Iridium. The first amplifier in Iridium is based on the mid-60s Fender Deluxe Reverb, which is one of the most recorded amplifiers in history. We've chosen to uh, recreate the normal channel of that amplifier for its ability to pair well with pedals and to create a nice uh, top end with, uh, with some warmth in it. The Deluxe Reverb Amp has a bass and treble control and a fixed resistor uh, to set the level of the mid-range. We have a mid-range knob that allows uh, at 12 o'clock the traditional Deluxe Reverb uh, mid-response. You can turn it back to get a little extra scoop or turn it up and at maximum level it uh, recreates the mid-range response of the uh, previous generation of tweed amplifiers which were known for their strong mids and ability to, uh, to break up more. The addition of the middle control can really uh, create a, a wide variety of, of sounds because the mid control, when you push it up, almost acts like a secondary gain. In addition to removing some of the scoop, it also increases the uh, overall level of the signal being sent to the power stage. But it's still very uh, responsive to dynamics uh, from your guitar's volume knob or your picking dynamics. <laughs> All the amplifiers in Iridium uh, are non-master volume amplifiers, so the drive knob acts as the volume knob on those amplifiers, and the level knob on Iridium just sets the output level of the pedal. Let's roll the drive back and, uh, and clean it up. Let's increase the bass a little bit. We've included a room control in Iridium, which effectively acts as a stereo pair of uh, room mics to bring in um, you know, ambience uh, and uh, reflections from the physical space of a room. We do that by using a stereo 250 millisecond impulse response combined with an algorithmic decay, and it creates a very realistic sensation of spatial cues. We have three different size rooms uh, available. That's the medium size room, and uh, there's a smaller and a larger uh, room available. If we press and hold the on button, you can audition uh, and then select the, uh, the different size rooms. The large one. 
the medium room, the small room, The cabinet impulse responses in Iridium are recorded in stereo at 96 kilohertz for a full 500 milliseconds. That represents the highest quality cabinet impulse responses available. With that level of fidelity, the intricacies of the time response and the interaction between the cabinet and mics can be captured in faithful detail. We've been listening to the uh, first uh, cabinet selection with the round amplifier. It's an impulse response from Ownhammer based on a Fender uh, 112 open back. Fender Deluxe Reverb with a Fender speaker in it, so it, it's a classic pairing. Uh, you know, a good uh, a good example of um, the kind of timeless sound that this uh, this amplifier has. Cab B is provided by Cab IR. It's an impulse response of a Fender Blues Junior cabinet, uh, which is a smaller cabinet, so it's got a little bit of a boxier sound. It's good for tweed style tones, and the way it's mic'd, it has actually a bit of an extended high end response at the highest frequencies. Cab C is an impulse response also provided by Cab IR. It's of a 210 open back Fender Vibrolux amplifier. And the configuration creates a nice deep bass response and a uh, pronounced scoop in the mid-range. So if we switch to the bridge pickup and uh, dial in some uh, higher gains on the amplifier, we'll create a lot of uh, high frequency harmonics, which makes it a lot easier then to pick out the different characteristics of the voicing of the uh, different cabinets. <laughs> The second amp we've included uh, is the Vox AC30, and we focused on the top boost channel, which is known for its bright response, but it's not harsh or shrill. It has a, a nice top end that's very harmonically rich and uh, was the uh, sound of the British invasion. So the Vox AC30 also has a, a two knob tone stack based in treble, but it also has a high cut knob that will uh, reduce the uh, top end present frequencies. We've implemented that high cut control under the middle knob. So here you start to hear the, um, you know, with a little bit of uh, drive going on, the um, harmonic richness of the top end. unique about the uh, Vox's uh, tone circuit was the bass control effectively combines the bass and middle controls in one knob. It, it acts essentially um, almost like a tilt where at minimum it's full mid-range and at maximum it's full bass with no mid-range. So that uh, one bass control is a very important uh, tone shaper. <laughs> On 
On all the amplifiers in Iridium, the signal path starts with our Class A discrete analog JFET gain stage that is capable of adding 20 dB of, of gain in, in the analog front end of the uh, signal path. And in our chime model, we utilize that at the top end of the drive control to add a frequency-shaped boost that's effectively like putting a um, treble booster in front of the amplifier, which is also one of the classic ways the Vox was used. You know, adds further gain and tightens up the low end. So uh, somewhere around 2 o'clock is where the uh, amplifier would be at its uh, traditional maximum gain. <laughs> And then as we turn it up, we'll hear the uh, inclusion of this extra uh, gain coming in from the analog front end. So it, it adds a really nice um, tightened up uh, low end response. <laughs> So we can turn the trouble up and increase the high frequencies. The overall presence uh, can be adjusted with the high cut, which on the, the mid knob here, so we can get a bright signal that doesn't have those kind of uh, highly present frequencies available. <laughs> Conversely, if we bring the trouble back, we're going to reduce some of the trouble frequencies, but by reducing the high cut, we'll actually have a little more presence on the top frequency. So you really can kind of tailor what part of the high frequency uh, spectrum you want to uh, listen to. So that's uh, not quite as bright in, in certain ways, but actually has more uh, presence on the top end. We've been listening through the uh, Cab A selection, which is an IR from Honehammer that is a 212 open back uh, AC30 cabinet with Celestian uh, El Nico blue speakers in it, which is, you know, a very kind of classic uh, combination for this amplifier. Cab B is a 112 closed back a cabinet with uh, Celestian El Nico blue from Celestian. Uh, they provided the IR. With the closed back, it uh, focuses the low end uh, a, a bit differently and gives a little bit tighter response. <laughs> really a present top end there. So again, you see the importance of the uh, high cut in terms of uh, shaping the overall high frequencies there. Cab C is provided by Valhalla IR, and it's a Mesa Boogie uh, 412 half closed back with Celestians on the top two uh, positions and uh, uh, electric voice speakers on the uh, on the bottom two. It provides a, uh, a nice strong low end uh, from the electric voices uh, in the closed portion and a nice bright presence uh, from the uh, Celestians in the top. Now let's hear some high gain tones through the three different cabinets. The third amplifier in Iridium is based on 
the uh, Marshall Super League, uh, 1959 Super League. That amp is known for its punchy, aggressive response. It has um, a solid state rectifier in it, which lends to that. You know, it's typically paired with, uh, with a 412 cabinet. It's got a strong uh, low end response that really kicks. The Marshall Super Lead amps were very loud at 100 watts. They produce a very harmonically uh, rich uh, spectrum of overdrive, but it's not like uh, you know high gain in the sense of modern high gain. But with that in mind, we uh, used, again, the, the analog front end to um, basically hot rod the amp at the last end of the uh, travel of the drive knob. Um, we extend the gain and uh, you know go further into high gain territory than uh, was available on the original amplifiers. Somewhere around 2 o'clock would be the actual uh, maximum drive level uh, available on those uh, super leads. So now if we dime all the tone stack uh, controls, we're uh, flattening it out and also increasing the, the level that's sent uh, subsequently to the power stage. So we'll get uh, a little more gain through the whole the system. If we turn the drive all the way up, we'll we'll get to those uh, you know, hot rotted high gain tones. <laughs> drive levels it actually has a, a you know very nice uh, clean sound as well uh, very you know, uh, wide spectrum cab a is an ir from Ownhammer that uh, features a closed back 412 Marshall cabinet with Celestine speakers in it, and it uh, pairs very nicely with a punch amplifier. Cab B is a 212 uh, open back cabinet with uh, Celestian uh, Vintage 30s. Uh, the I IR was provided by Celestian. With the open back 212 configuration, the cabinet's bass response is a little lighter than the closed back 412. Uh, it has a very nice extended uh, high end range, uh, works well at uh, at some of those kind of just breaking up sounds and uh, you know with uh, neck pickups as well. Cab C is an interesting cabinet. Uh, it, it's an 812 cabinet provided by Cab IR, and um, the interaction of the eight speakers uh, creates a very uh, bright response and uh, is a nice complementary uh, tone to have uh, along with the other two cabinets. Mm -hmm. 